Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series where we are trying to teach you all about the Mastercam Milton different modules and in this playlist we are going to teach you Mastercam one of the most amazing module that is known as a Milton. So this is our exercise number 4th part 2. In exercise number 4th part 1 we already teach you that how you can uh, create a simulation and in this first part we show you that simulation of that one component on a fully milled mastercam milton machine that machine was really amazing because that machine have a left hand spindle a right hand spindle and we are going we create a tool path with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream so in this video we teach you that how we can make a job setup in a proper way on that kind of machines so what are the steps what are the different kind of parameters are we have to defining when we want to make a job setup on a mastercam milton machine and in this exercise we are going to make the part handling with the help of cut off so you will get a uh, learn and new options and the multiple new thing and if you are new on this channel i would like to suggest you first go and learn from the very basic things like as a lathe milling and if you are a good in lathe and milling, I would like to suggest each and every single person start to learn on learning the Milton module because it's a very good module and very high paying. If you have good knowledge of Milton, you can get a very good salary easily and that's the best benefit for a programmer, for a machinist, for a CNC pro. Uh, each and every single person who is in a CNC machine line. So now let me have to start what are the different things of parameters and steps that we need to follow to create that component programming. So first step is we have to defining or we have to select a machine for the machine selection we have to click on a machine. We have to click on a Milton and for this one come creating that one component we are choosing new machine and the machine name is LTX. What why this is called LTX because it's have a lower turret and that turret can be rotating in x direction so we are choosing this one generic fanuc milton ltx if this machine is not available in your mastercam module you can comment us on our comment box we are trying to show you that how you can add on or this that machine so that's a really important if you want to make the practice of that one so you have to click on this machine once you select or click on this machine so automatically mastercam is going to blink a new window and that window is called job setup when we are talking about the job setup this window is really important for us and you must have to know each and every single parameter of that job setup because that's a really really important that you have to figure or fill a multiple number of parameters in a job setup the first option is called work holding in a work holding there are the two options are available first is the left hand spindle and the second is called right hand spindle in a first uh, left hand spindle if you want to make some change parameters if you want to make some changes in a parameter like as a jaw like as a chuck so you can click double click and make the parameters change as per needed once you define all the parameters you have to came on a steady rest if you want to add on the steady rest i you can click on it and you can change the steady rest if you want to understand and if you want to learn the in detail about that how you can make the changes of these parameter you can comment us on our comment section we if you needed this we can try to create videos on that topics as well after that we have to came on a setup type that's a really important page and parameter in a job setup in a setup type we have to define the two very important parameters the first is called the initial spender the second is called a job stop type or that is known as a part handling the first thing that is known as the initial spender where we have to define that how we would like to hold our raw material in a left hand spindle or a right hand spindle. So there are the two important two, two options are available that left spindle and a right hand spindle. For that one machine or that one exercise we are going to hold our workpiece in the left hand spindle. So that's why we are choosing the initial stock is left hand spindle and after that we have to came on a part handling. In a part handling there are the multiple different kind of options are available. We have to choose these options according to our machine according to our raw material availability as well as according to our the component model 
so there are the multiple options are available for example if you have a continuous options so continuous options we are always choosing for these kind of machine which are available in a continuous mode or we can also call the machine which have a bar feeder the remaining all options or a remaining time we are always selecting the option that is known as a single piece of stock and in a single piece of stock there are the 33 options are available in a first uh, second exercise we show you that how we can choose single piece of stock no pick off where we have only left hand spindle that time we are always choosing this option and after that we show you that how we can choose a single piece of stock pick off in exercise number three where we are going to hold a part handling from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle with the help of pick off it means we the right hand spindle came pick off part and take it on initial position and in this exercise we would like to show you that single piece of stock pick up and cut up what is the meaning of single piece of stock pick up and cut up it means when we are choosing that option it means once my left hand spindle all operations all tool path are going to be completed after that my right hand spindle came here hold my workpiece once it's hold so that time from the upper stream or upper milling head my parting tool came on that one point and it will cut my part from the right hand side so that's a new option or a new operation will be add on when we are choosing cut off if you are not choosing cut off so there will be no parting operation will be add on if you are choosing this so that time parting operation will be add on right at here once i defining all these parameters so after that we have to came that feed define the parameters of the left hand spindle in the left hand spindle the first option is part geometry where we have to define our model or a part geometry we have to click on part geometry just click and and selection once i define the model so according to that mastercam will analyze and read all each and every single dimensions of my model and according to that cell that set uh, analyze dimensions and it helps a lot after that we have to on the create turn profile turn profile will helps us when we are defining the tool path or when we are selecting the chain so that time we need a wireframe chain and you can automatically we can you can add on this option to automatically create these chains once i select this chain after that we have to define the raw material and the raw material is always under the bar stock that's here in a bar stock there are the multiple options are available like as a bar stock like as a revolve stock for the casting component or as you can define the solid stock or stl file as well that's here in a stock model when we are defining the model file so software automatically detect that what is the outer maximum diameter it's 63 if you want to make some extra margin in od you can click on defining right at here if you want to calculate the value from the inside diameter because that component is a hollow from inside so i on the inside diameter so inside diameter is 31.5 and i click on it and i just like to on uh, extra stock for the inside of this part and i would like to also add on some extra stock for the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle or i can say for the left hand face and the right hand face so it means we have we have to do the facing option in the left side and right side so that's if we make some extra margin so that time we can do the facing for both of side once i define the facing of both of side after that we have an option that is called tool path or that is known as a tool plane horizon z it means how would like to make a offset so we and when we are working on a left hand spindle so we are always choosing the offset on the right hand face so we have to click on right hand face so it means all tool offset should be on this one position and after that we have to define the position that is known as stick out always keep in mind when you are working on a uh, or when you are selecting the job setup and that is known as a pick off cut off so that time you need to make some extra margin for this part and the area what i trying to say i would like to tell you and explain you in detail for example as you can see right at here this is my model and in this model there is no extra margin between jaw and my component so how my parting tool is going to be came and how it is going to be parting my part so for that one purpose we have to add some extra margin for example this is my jaw this is my part i just click on this last position that is that value is this 
and I add on some value. For example, the parting tool which I am going to use that is 4 mm, my, the width is 4 mm. So I just make the value 30.75 plus 5 or I can also do the value is 38. So that time we have a margin on each and every single side. So that's a very important pa parameter. So as you can see here now, my component and the jaw both have a, some specific material, a specific distance or specific value. So it helps easy to parting my part. When you are working on a cutoff, pick off cutoff, so you always have to keep this in mind that you need some extra margin or extra distance between the jaw as well as the component. After that we have to came in a right hand spindle, in a right hand spindle you have to define again the how you would like to make the tool plane origin, you have to define this one and after that we have to came in a pick off. Once you came in a pick off, there you have to define the two things, the first thing is how my right hand spindle going to be hold my workpiece, you have to define that position, so you have to came in a nearest, I just zoom in and define that one position. Once I define the position, after that we have to also define the parting tool. If you are not defining the parting tool, so that time, that is possibility when you are doing the uh, part handling, so that time some error will going to be blink. So always keep in mind you have to defining that cutoff value that is properly. So in a cutoff value, you have to click on here you and you have to define the tool. That's a really important. So for example, now for that one component, I am using a 4mm of insert width tool that I just click on here and just say ok. So once I define the tool it's automatically take the name of tool and the cutting insert width. And after that I have to just say ok. So once I just save as you can see here this is going to be hold properly in a left hand spindle as well as in a right hand spindle. So right hand spindle is holding till this year. Left hand spindle is holding till this year. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learn a lot of new things about the Milton and the job setup. And in the next video, I would like to show you that how we can create a tool path for the left hand spindle and with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream. And one of the most important thing that I teach you in the next video that is known as a tool path synchronization. That how we would like to tool path synchronization, synchronization and why it is important we are when we are talking about the Milton. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any question, if you have any doubt, go and comment us on a comment section. We are trying to help you best as we can. So see you soon in the next video.